years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echander Shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light Shows on Echander. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. My name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a chander my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I'd like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. And a very good morning to you. This gorgeous hand belongs to Denise and she is mixing up some fantastic pebio from our gorgeous pick and mix. 
Um, yeah, look at this effect. That is amazing. Uh, we just wanted to have a little look at this because we have got a fantastic hour with the fabulous Denise and Pebio. And, uh, well, can I describe it? It looks like enamel. Good morning, Denise. Good morning. Which two are you mixing there out of oh, our pigamix? I've, I've got about four in that Have one. You? I've got uh, the sky blue vitrail. Yeah. I've got some of the, um, one of the moons, which is the moonstone moon and an apricot of the prism. Beautiful. Look at this effect. Good morning, Denise. An Hello. official good morning. We were just, we don't think we've seen you in 2020, have we? we, we I've, I've not you... been in here in 2020 no. with, the, with the Pebio, no. Oh so, my goodness, it's yeah. been yonks and we think we've only, oh, we've only worked together once, we just think. Just once, yes. Yeah, so this yeah. is going to be like brand new show all over again for me. What, what is the Pebio all about? Describe it for anybody who's new to this uh, fantastic medium. It's a fabulous mixed media paint. Um, I describe it as like a liquid enamel. Uh, it's a glass type paint, so um, you can put it on any non-porous surface. Great. Um, and by that, you know, if you've got a surface that I think is a little bit por porous, you could put a, a, an acrylic or a gesso prime down it. and prime it, and that's fine. Yeah. Um, because it is a liquid paint, it's best on flat surfaces. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because it will level and run. And Although run. you say that, and look at this bottle. <laughs> so we've got it coming down the bottle here, you know, and that's your Pebio, isn't yes, it? Absolutely. So if you want to so create that you, effect. You can do, but it doesn't have, it, you know, you don't have all of the separation of colours in the same way as you do um, elsewhere. I'm going to show you some of these because this is the effect as well of these gorgeous. And this is just used achieving the, the colours, mixing just up the colours. Just using the, the um, colours that we've got in the, the pick and mix. And on these I've put mix. an acrylic down first. Yeah, um, and slightly then on, porous. And then Look just put those colors down beautiful fabulous effects that can be achieved and if you're looking at that lovely clock behind me uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, can I do the reveal Denise of course you can because I was so excited this is using the Apebio and uh, you, you've, you've used what was it the, it's the... one of the four artist markers yeah. it's not it's, a, it's the black one that I've used on there but it was just drawing it's over the top of it lady there but guess what this is everybody I can see you know it's a clock but it's an old vinyl record I know. So just basically, if it's porous, you can prime it like you said with gesso or an acrylic. Yes. Um, as you've done around the outside, this beautiful frame here with an acrylic. Um, but it'll go on anything, won't it? Yes. And the, the frame anything. that you were looking at there is yeah. basically a decoupage um, blank. My word. So fantastic. So just primed it with acrylic first. It's just gorgeous. We've got fantastic samples on the show. So let's just show you these gorgeous pick and mix. Now we can pick any three uh, for £11.85. And they're, 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 you just stir up the pots because you can see there's the, like the little um, per, per lesson air it, sort of in, in the bottom there because these are the moons you see. It's prisms and moons. So the effect is slightly different. Uh, but uh, So with our moons, if I have a little look here, this is our colour chart here with our pearl and our silver. When you you're placing it onto the black you can see how it just starts to separate was that the best way to describe it Denise it craters is craters. the only thing I can describe it yeah but it's beautiful on its own yeah but when you put it on top of one of the other paints whilst they're liquid then it, it will have that separation it has this gorgeous effect and then we've also with our prisons and the moons if I show you the others there can you see here so these are the prisms and they kind of as my my, my producer said cellular yes sort of starts to go cellular isn't that fantastic and again they just well, that's the best way to describe it. I don't know what else to say, really. Yeah, it prisms. <laughs> prisms. <laughs> I love all those colours. I mean, let me just show you some of these. If I look at the, the prisms as well, this has been done and using our lovely um, glazing resin as well. But you can see in the little locket there, just a bezel set, uh, how it just starts to separate. And just look at these. And Isn't that's that... a selection of the different moons in the oh. um, in the dog, just with an outline. That's the moons, and then with an outline, you know, if you are creating something very specific again look at that you see it's not beautiful you can see the prisms there can't you and then again just these are just canvas by the way but they look like enamel tiles don't they just beautiful effects can be created so lots lots of different colors there let's just take you through these colors then if that's all right so um I'll, we'll go across the, the board there so we have my Oh, well, look at the swatch. So we've got um, pearl, silver, uh, veil of smoke, lilac, antique pink, car car carmine. Caroline. Carmine. Carmine, sorry, forgive me. That's useless reading, Fiona. Salmon, apricot, 
Okay, uh, so they are our beautiful moons. And then if I move over to the prisms, we've got chestnut, cinnamon, vermilion, English red, leaf, carabine, blue, night blue, onyx, and moonstone. But it doesn't stop there. Again, pick and mix across the board here. We're going to go over to our vitrails. Vitrails. Vitrails? Vitrails. Vitrails. Now, the thing about the vitrails is they are transparent, with the best way to describe it, apart from the pearl, which has that opaque pearlescence. So if we have a look at it, and then you can pick and mix across the board with all of these amazing colours. So it depends, I suppose, on the effects you want to achieve, doesn't yeah. it, Denise? I would have a mixture of, you know, several of each. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're wonderful. <laughs> Lemon, yellow, green, gold, apple, green, sky blue, cobalt blue, black, and the pearl. So I've, I've got three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing one, or well, three, six, seven, eight. So there's one I'm missing on my board. So anyway, okay. have a little look online, uh, but pretty much the majority, with the exception of one. In stock, we've got the pearl, the sky blue, the lemon, the black, cobalt blue, crimson, and yellow. So it's the green gold I don't have. Okay. Yeah, crimson. I seem to have crimson instead of something else. I don't have my apple green and my green gold. Um, but all the others are there. So have a little look. Loads to choose from. And obviously, we'll be talking about the effects, but let me just show you again just some of these. And again, this is using your beautiful, uh, fantastic Pebios. And this, how did you do this one, Denise? This is on glass, isn't it? It is on glass, and it's a, it, it is essentially a glass paint, so it works extremely well on glass. On that one, I used a CERN relief to draw the outline, which we'll go into a little bit later yeah, on. Yeah, because we've got the white on the show. Um, and then I've used the, the paints within the areas that I've separated out. Um, the beauty of doing it on glass, or even on acetate, mm, is that you can put your design underneath and just copy around it. Yes, yeah, so people have got um, designs. Yeah. How would you attach? Uh, uh, sorry, is that did you stamp it? Do you? You don't. If it's on a piece of glass, you just put your piece of paper oh, of underneath. Oh, you do. I'm going to see through and then just you can see through it, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's early, Denise. It's early. It early. You have to explain the obvious to me this morning. Uh, 664206. But of course, Denise's got for loads of fantastic demonstrations for us. £11.85, 664206. Have a look at the website because on the website we've got the artist marker and frisk pens plus the carry case. You can get them individually, but we have got them as a set. We've got uh, Denise's DVDs as well. Um, we've got them in sets of three as well if you want your Pebios. Obviously, the pick and mix there. Uh, the DVDs, I will say, has loads of beautiful projects like the calla lilies behind me and the the lp we just saw the lp we just saw as well um and you are getting there's 60 minutes on that dvd but you're getting that extra dvd now this has got the cern relief now this is what we were just referring to with the outline of the dog and the outline of um the peacock um what does the cern relief do it creates a wall. A wall. That's so it. it creates this little outline. It's it's very easy to use, and I will show you later on how, how we it use it. It contains the pebio, yes. doesn't it? So it creates a barrier for you to work within. Gives you that structure of an inch yeah. if yeah. you're not going free flowing. Um, and I'm not aware of us having had the white no. one here before. No, so we that's said a new silver one. and silver, um, black, gold. Yeah, but not clear. the white. But the white, I think, is new. Um, today so. and you'll get a tube of that in this for 19 pounds 55 and loads of inspirational ideas about your pebby so if you've had your pebby at home you thought well i don't know what to do with it or you've not experienced pebio you will be transfixed with our denise this morning um, now another new today is the three beautiful colors of our ivory our silver and our gold um, now this is for more direct precise application would you say Denise? It is yeah they're oil based um, marker pens so again they'll go on any sort of non-porous surface beautifully they, mm -hmm. they'll go on to primed papers that kind of thing um, but they go on to glass and they'll go on to plastic and they'll go on to all sorts of surfaces right. um, so they're they're fabulous brilliant and if I'm, I'm just going to show you this one because the ivory we were talking about this before we started that's the ivory on the black that's the ivory on the white it's like two different pens. It is, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But I love the ivory because it's just that little bit more subtle. It's not so in your face. Yeah. Um, but the silver and the gold are fabulous metallic, shiny. Yes, you can see that reflection there, can't so you? So glass, plastic, yeah. um, everything. It just goes yeah. on everything. Yeah. Do, we, do we need to prime again if we're going on to porous surfaces with these? 
just play. Just play. You know, you might find You've got it over yeah. the Pebio there, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. So that's that's what I've done, um, just to show you that it goes on top of the Pebio so beautifully. Now they've got different sort of sizes. You've got your large chisel for the gold, and uh, to prime, it literally is just up and down, up and down, up and down, isn't yeah, it? That's absolutely. all we've got to do. Yeah. Which obviously, because that'll be a lovely clean chisel surface. So just up and down, up and down, up and down, like we like we have with a lot of those kind of pens, and uh, different sizes. Then obviously round nibs there round, brush. I think that's a four mil round nib four which mil. is beautiful for writing with so you know embellishing and, and writing on on other things they're fab. Can I squiggle on the back of this Denise or that ruin it? Of course um, so oh that's, that's oh do you know what that just pours beautifully yeah that's just gorgeous so there we go yeah and that's my ivory. So you can see that it's almost like a skin tone on white. It, is, but it yes, comes yeah. out white on the black, doesn't it? Yeah, you can scribble on the other side can as I? well. On oh, black, I just yeah. didn't want to ruin you. Oh, no, it's fine. It's there. I'll to... just do a. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the artistry, eh? There's no stopping me this morning. And then, so there, the round that we've got the four mil and the smaller one then for the ivory. And then the large chisel for the gold. And do some lovely metallic effects there. That's useless, Fiona, but that is lovely. Um, <laughs> and not just that, not just stopping there with our pens, we're also getting this fantastic carry case, aren't we, Denise? This case is amazing. Isn't it just? Um, I think we said it holds oh, sturdy. 36 yeah. pens. Gosh. And it's, it's a fabulous case for putting, I mean, obviously, it's great for your four artist markers, but, um, you know, any, any pens or, or things you want to travel in, it's got Isn't that, that lovely little handle. Love this. I love this because straight away, you know, you're storing them horizontally. If you, I'm just thinking of those alcohol pens and all sorts of yeah. different ones you have, and you can just see them. Yes. How many times have they fall? I mean, I'm just dismantling things here, falling out of boxes and stuff. That's just fantastic for, for you're on the go, if you do workshops or anything like that, just, just for... Bin. Compact storage, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Brilliant. Brilliant. We're getting all of that. Pens are not easy to, to store without them falling all over That's the place. Exactly, they're not. They're not easy to contain, are they? No. £16.50, £870,995. Gorgeous. Right. I'll hand over to the lovely Denise and you take it away. Got Thank lots you of very much. Today. Yes, yeah. I just wanted to start by showing what the different um, paints do, um, the different products. So I'm going to start here with the prism. And the reason I'm starting with that is it takes a few minutes to react. So um, I'm giving it a good stir. Now when you get your paints, you do need to give them a good stir because what creates the magic is heavy. So I'm literally giving it a stir. And I'm just pouring it down. I'm using a, a little stick here, but you can use a cocktail stick, whatever you want. I'm just going to spread that out to join in with what we had before. Now the prism just takes a couple of minutes to work, so I'm going to put that one down and let's put another one next to it, and then we'll give those a minute or two to work. And how long should we leave these to dry, to cure, as it were, Denise? You need to leave them flat, otherwise they will slide off whatever well, it is you're yeah. working on. <laughs> um, and you need to leave them at least 24 hours. It might be longer, um, depends on how thickly you've put it. Um, but again, I'm just going to mix those two ever so slightly together, because I like it when you get that mix of the two. So we can leave those to, to work for a minute. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is the vitrail. They'll, the prism will just take a few minutes to take effect. And the vitrail is the transparent one. So let's just put some of this down. This is the sky blue, I think. Put my glasses on, I'll see what I'm talking about. That one's the sky blue. Now they're quite strong colours. So sometimes you need to just, can you just see that by pushing it around a little bit, you soften that colour and you can see the, the white coming through from behind. I'm just trying to pull a little bit of those bits from before into it because I find it exciting when you get these little mixes. So that's the clear um, and I'm going to put some of the moon next to it. Let's use this beautiful apricot. And these, I just think they're just gorgeous, completely on their own. And you get this hammered finish. But, let me spread that out a little bit. When you put the moon on top of some of the other liquid paints, 
amazing things happen. So if I put a couple of drops of that down, and we just watch, you can see it already starting to happen here. Can you see how that's, that's cratering and separating Beautiful out? Beautiful effect. Let's put a little bit more of my blue in there. Uh, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but you get this, ham they call it a hammered finish on the moon when it's not um, <laughs> on top of the um, other paints. And it's it, just beautiful, just beautiful. Uh, right, where shall we go? Let's put a bit of another prism this side. Uh, let's have a different colour. I'm going to have the leaf one now. Oh, yeah. So you can see, you can be quite abstract. You don't need to be terribly refined with this. You can use the CERN relief to create pictures, but I, my favourite way of having this is just using it um, in this kind of random way. Instead of using my palette knife, I'm just going to use a cocktail stick, so just different ways of, of manipulating the, the paint and spreading it around. So cocktail sticks, spatulas, can you use your paintbrush? You can use your paintbrush, it's an oil based product so you will need to use uh, mineral uh, thinners to right. clean your brushes afterwards. Right, okay, that's so good to know. So I find it easier just to use a stick or something and then so just, 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 just wipe it off. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, and I've spread that around. Can you see now how the edge of this, where it's on top of the, the blue, you get that, that Ooh, separation of yes. the moon. Let's put some other colours down. That's feathering, isn't it? Yes, yes. Uh, let's have, oh, what colour this side? I'm going to have, now, did you have the apple green in there? In your, now, this, in is, your the, this is the $24 sure question. No, we've definitely um, got yellow. I don't think I had it in the, vitri in the vitriols. You've got the no, lemon, let me though, just... haven't you? So I'm going to use the lemon. I've definitely got lemon. Yeah, we'll use lemon. I've definitely got black in the vitriols. I've definitely got sky blue. I've definitely got the pearl. Okay. Cobalt blue, crimson, and last but not least, yellow. They're the ones I've got in my vitriols. Now, this is the lemon, and you can see how intense these colours are. So again, by spreading it out, you can see you get that sort of lighter version of the colour. Mm. But they're really, really rich colours. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this down and then I'm going to put a few drops of the black on just to show you. Because that's really intense. And you said about curing um, Pebio advised this as well, to do it in a dark place. No, that's only the resin. Oh, that's the resin. This, oh, we're going to come fine. to that. That's on the show, isn't it? Yes. That's sort of curing the resin. That's fine. So here we could just leave it to dry. Yeah, as right long away. as you leave yeah. it flat. Um, again, it's just a recommendation that if you've got somewhere where you've got maybe got pets or something like that, just put a cover over it so that you don't have things floating <laughs> down into it. Because they will find it and walk yes. across it. Of course they will. Walk across it or even just, you know, fluff landing on yes, it. And exactly. you come down the next morning and you think, oh... Right, I'm just literally, this is the black vitriol, so this is the transparent. Yeah, which we've got on the show but today. look how beautifully <gasps> intense those colours are. Another way you can manipulate it is you can <gasps> wow. just drag it to create some different patterns. And it, it just dries beautifully like an enamel, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's quite astonishing. Yes. Now, I also want to just put a few drops of a, another moon on there. What colour moon shall we put down there? Let's have this one. This is the pearl moon. I'm just going to use my cocktail stick for this because mm. I want tiny little drops. And again, you know, so you can see how little I'm putting down, so how far the paint goes. And, and we can see it changing every time the camera comes back to it before our yeah. eyes. It's, it's morphing, isn't it, into something else? It is quite remarkable. You kind of do this, you think, right, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea, and then it's really exciting to come back and yes. see what, what's happened to it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's put a few drops of that in there. Everyone's going to be unique. 
an original, yeah. isn't it? You'll never get the same thing twice. Even if you try to do the same thing <laughs> twice, it won't happen the same. No. And again, you can see how this one already is beginning to... Um, yeah, the moonstone. Moon. And now you can see as well with this, this one here, the salmon one. Yeah. You can see how that has um, done that prism effect. Prism effect, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to pull these to the edges. And then that will just be a case of leaving that to dry. Let's have a little drop of that. Fill in that gap there. And so without any effort or the need for any creativity, you get these amazing effects. And I, I call the paint magic because, yeah. you know, it, you, you put this colour down yeah. and then all of a sudden you've got this just wonderful effect happening. Can you add texture to it? You know, like very fine grained. You know, sometimes we have the sands or the little beads or the you little. You can do. Yes, you could drop those into yeah. it. Um, you can also pre-texture it. So if you've got sort of texture gels, you could put that down first, right. and then and then put this over the top. Um, oh yeah, or you've, if you've done your texture paste or something, yeah, and then yeah. go in there after with your. Yes, because you, if you, you want to that. create that surface movement as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, for me, I love the joy of the fact that it's this beautiful smooth enamel. Yes, sort of look. but we are going to look at texture in a moment, aren't we, with yes. our resin on the show yes. today. Um, gorgeous. I'll have a quick recap of the colours, if that's all okay, right, Denise, because we've got some that are on the swatches and some that aren't, so I'll do my best. So we've got uh, the prisms and the moons, some of which um, the lovely um, Denise was using. So I've got my chestnut, my English red, my veil of smoke, and my vermilion. I've got my midnight blue, Caribbean blue leaf, and I've got the apricot. I've got the gorgeous moonstone that Denise was just using, my lovely pearl. Um, antique pink and lilac. So this is what we've got in stock today of our beautiful prisms. Now the prisms, they create that beautiful um, cellular look. That's the word I like today, cellular. I'm going to use my, my producer's word. Uh, so it just sort of, sort of split, almost like, like a snake skin or a crocodile skin, isn't it? Then we've got the moons and if you place those over the black, so I haven't got all of these colours. The ones we've got are the ones I've, I've mentioned. So for instance, I didn't have the silver today. Um, but I have got the antique pink and the veil of smoke and the pearl, but have a little look on that. But as you can see, they just sort of crater over the black surface, but they're lovely and opaque and pearlescent on their own. You can also have the vitrails as well. Now these have a transparency to them apart from the moon. So if I take you through the colors and I'll show you the, the sort of the, the look, we've got the pearl, sky blue, the lemon, the black, um, the beautiful yellow, the gorgeous crimson, and the cobalt blue. Now, the vitrails have a transparency, so I'll just show you an example on my swatch here, um, apart from the pearl, which we do have on the show. So they have a more... Denise was just using the black there. They have a more sort of transparent yes. uh, look and feel to them, as it were. Gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. And the effects, I mean, as, you know, we've just been seeing with the demonstration, are quite astronomical. It does kind of almost look like an enamel, doesn't it? Just have a play. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Limp pounds 85. Pick any three for across the board there. 664206. And you can see these beautiful um, examples behind me. We're going to talk about the resin in a moment. But then again, this is over the resin as well. Um, if you saw that lovely, I'll show you the LP as well. Um, this one I'm going to show you. This is one of the projects in Denise's DVD. Oh, don't you go down the back of the settee. You're too lovely. Uh, this is the Calla Lilies. <clears throat> and this is one of the projects in the DVDs that uh, we've got on the show. Um, so you can see using um, the relief outliner, the CERN, y you've created the actual image of the lilies there. I've created the image of the lilies, and that which is something that is shown in the, the DVD. It's about colour blending and mixing and dragging and all those kind of things. So there's, there's lots of techniques within the, the DVDs. Brilliant. So we're getting two of those. 60 minutes on this one. Extra content then on the other DVD. But we're also getting this, the, the CERN relief. Now, what does this do? It contains, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it creates a wall, so it creates a barrier. Beautiful. So if you can see, there's a very fine relief around these lilies here. Just, and they, but this, we think this is the first time we've had the white on the show. I think it is. Yeah. Certainly the first time I've brought it here. £19.95, 526.549 for those fantastic inspirational DVDs from Denise and the Pebio relief there as well. Um, something on the show today, I just briefly mentioned resin. 
is our glazing resin. Now, this is a fantastic kit. Um, you are getting, obviously, the two um, elements, as it were, to create the glaze resin. You're getting the little... Uh, obviously to pour them into your spatulas your gloves your instructions and this has a completely different effect it literally does what it says it glazes yes. yeah so if we look at the normal pebio on my example here there there's our lovely nothing normal about it quite exquisite isn't it but then with our glaze yeah Gives it that shine, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it gives it a wonderful finish. Beautiful. And again, if I, if you, you've put it, you've done it on a canvas here to create surface. So that's just the resin going straight on. I don't know if we can see. There we go. Yeah, onto you can, the canvas. You can see it. So that was just splattered on, yeah. which is what I basically did on that one underneath yes. the paint. So I let the resin dry and then then put the pebio over the top. And then on this one again, we've got elements of it that are so that went the glazed. resin went on top. So you can see some of the bits are glazed and some bits, can you see the bits where it's not? Beautiful, beautiful effect. Um, hmm? Oh, yes, you could. Could you use it to protect old photos? Yes. My, yeah, brilliant. Yes, absolutely. So yeah. we could, in our mixed media, we could, you know, add oh, those you, elements in there as yeah, well. Yeah, completely. Beautiful, yes, and you've used it as well on this... On the jewellery. On the yes. jewellery there. Yeah. If you did have a cabochon, sometimes we have those little um, enamel... We'll create that sort of enamel effect in our uh, base of our... I've forgotten the word. Jewellery blank. The, yeah, there's yeah, this so. word. I could have gone... No, I've just gone blank. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it really wasn't that interesting for you. But anyway, there's that lovely glaze there as well on top of the Pebio. Now, you're getting both of these, £32.90. So, I mean, that's a lot of glazing resin, isn't it? You're it getting is both, a lot, Both yeah. boxes. So two lots there. Um, £7 savings, 782179. You can just go for one kit on its own. We've got that at the bottom of the screen there for uh, £19.95. So you can see what, how getting both is a massive, massive saving today. Right, Denise, I'll go back to you so you can show okay. us the magic. The next thing I was going to do, which was I'll just explain what I was doing at the top of the show, um, I was doing a dirty pour. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, so what I've got is I've got a little um, shot cup, and then it's a case of just putting some, some paint into it. Uh, which colour should we have? Let's have the yellow. I know you've got that. So put a little few drops of that one in. Then let's have... Uh, the night blue and the veil of smoke, these are the prisms. Then I'm going to put in a moon as well. Which colour? Should we have a nice bright? Let's have the English red. Again, just make sure they're well stirred and we pop that in. So it's not going to be a flip cup dirty pour, which I know we love, <laughs> but I'm just going to do this as, as a pour. So you just put those into, into the little cup, and then I'm going to literally just pour it out onto my, onto my surface. So this is this little wooden, wooden box. And that's been primed, obviously, because it's the wood being porous, so you've, you've already painted it with acrylic or a gesso. Yeah. Or, yes. It'll go onto anything then, won't it? If, it, if it's not porous, you, you can just pour it straight on, whether it be glass or a tile. Or I'm trying yes, to think of what we've got. We've had, a, we've had a, a lovely email in. Was it Ricky? Ooh. Ricky. So, what she does is her daughter uses uh, the, the, the CERN relief yes. to draw lines over LED light bulbs. She okay. then fills in the gaps with the vitrails, the, yes. the vitrals, using a brush. And it's got the beautiful decorative bulbs. Coloured lights. Well, it is a glass paint, so it goes beautifully on. on it's not, that sounds I think wonderful. That's genius. Because you can personalise uh, with, with, the, with the CERN relief and, and the vitrails. Beautiful glasses and, yeah, oh, yes. and, and those lovely marker pens as well. And yeah. for, for anniversaries and weddings, you know. Make to, can, we, can we make to sell them? Well, can we do that? No. Mm. She's yes. saying yes. She's not yeah. saying no, everybody. Um, They're your designs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm doing here at the edge is just pulling it out, and you can see how all these colours are <gasps> separating down. Oh, wow. Part of the reason for doing the pulling out at the side is because I don't have a barrier. You can, you know, put tape around the outside. I don't want to have it too thick at the edges because yeah. I don't want it running down the sides, particularly as I've got to take this home in the car later. <laughs> <laughs> So what would you say, Denise, to, you know, anybody's thinking, well, I can see the effects are good. How, how am I going to use this? What am I... Do you know what? I think it is such a versatile product. I love it as an art product. Yeah. I'm an artist, so, you know, I think of it as an art product. 
but I think there are so many ways you can use it. I think these boxes are fabulous. Uh, you can put you can onto uh, de any decoupage, decoupage or decoupage blanks. As long yeah. as they're flat, you will get the effects. If they're not flat, you will still get the beautiful colours, but they're going to be sort of drawn out, a bit like on the glass. You know, it's, yes. it's, it's going to be a slightly different effect and on yeah. the bottle. Um, glass, acetate. What about card making with acetates? Oh. You know, putting, yeah. and then you could, but again, because it's an acetate on acetate, you could put it over your design, so it makes it very easy yeah. to do. But you can see from doing something like the dirty pour mm. that you don't have to have a creative, um, you don't have to be artistic. To draw, or, you know, yeah, yeah. The, the paints themselves, I just love Create the way beautiful. this just starting oh. to separate out. So and all these colors. Again. Yeah, yeah, it'll it'll keep changing. I've got to dribble down one side, so I'll take that out. My producer said it looks like a geode, and it does. Yes. Just like we take the slice. Yeah, of absolutely. There. Um, but yeah, you can see all the different colours in there. And that was just picking three or four colours, putting them into my little cup, and, and pouring and it then out. Pouring. And this is probably one of my favourite ways of using it. Um, but yeah, the boxes, the jewellery, it's fabulous on jewellery. Yeah. So making making jewellery. Something else. Bezel. That, that was the word bezel. I was looking for. Just yes, the bezel. that was the word you were looking for. Um, I couldn't think of it either, so I wasn't coming to your help. I'm apologising yeah, for that. Into bezel. Um, something I saw the other day was some little, like, balsa wood Christmas decorations. Oh, yes. Yeah. They would be fantastic with this <gasps> to go on your Christmas tree because they would catch the lights. Oh, wouldn't they? And then they'd look like it. Because we have the, if you prime your MDF. Yeah. Cut out baubles. We have of loads of those as yes, well. Yeah. And pour on. I mean, I mean be... having something like that on on a mm. on one of those little baubles on your Christmas tree, just catching the light would be amazing. I feel like I want to well go and get your light bulb now, an LED <laughs> light bulb. We'll, we'll pinch Ricky's I, Ricky's daughter's idea. <laughs> get 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 the sun relief on it and start painting some vitriol on it as well. I think, I think that's genius. But yeah, glasses. I mean, you know, I'm just oh, going to tilt that a little bit. I'm trying. I'm not going to tilt it much because it'll yeah, run off. It'll but, the... um, but yeah. Just all of those effects, and you can see how glassy it is even now before it dries off. Mm. Um, so you know those those are, are, are great fun. The vinyl records, yes. There's, you know, there's just so many ways that you can use it. Yeah. So the the lady was that, free? and you. I know you've used uh, the black sun relief there. Did was that freehand or was, were you? Yes. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. But I suppose we could stamp and then go over it. Um, yeah. In some medium, and then well, you could use the the four artist markers pens. You could oh, go over wow. it because they go onto this surface beautifully. Once it's dry, could we stamp with the archiva ink over it? I say it's worth trying. Yeah, yeah. if they were, if it's an, if it's a stamp that would go onto a glass surface, yeah. then it would it would work. Wow, amazing! That is a black vinyl record. Isn't that beautiful? Amazing, yeah. One of the demos on uh, Denise's DVD. Actually, what else do you want to show us? Because uh, I'm, I'm fascinated, so much okay. to explore. Yeah, absolutely. Let me just move this to one side. Uh, let's pop that over there. I was just going to show you, next thing I'll show you is the CERN Relief, the white. Oh, that comes with a DVD. That comes with a DVD. Okay, um, I'm only doing this on a black surface because it's easier to see. So. Yes, yes. <laughs> and we think it's the first time we've had the white on the show yes, as well. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to put it on black. You can certainly put it onto a, a, a white canvas um, and then it just gives you that sort of very neutral finish. But what I've done here, I don't know if you can catch that on the camera, um, but I've just drawn my design in in pencil. So I've yes. just freehand drawn that uh, design in in pencil. Um, and then that just allows me to, to see where I'm going, really. Yeah. So what I've got with the CERN relief, um, you literally just put the tip down and gently squeeze and pull, and it comes out. So gently squeeze, pull, and it comes down. What you shouldn't do is push. Ah. Um, if you push, uh, let me just do a little bit here. If you push, you end up pushing the nib through. Yeah. You can see you end up with that sort of tatty um, mark going through there. So always try and work away. So you come up and pull, and when you get to a point where you can't pull anymore, move. And join up again, yeah. yeah. Now I do keep wiping the tip of my um, ah, sewn relief. It's just a clean. habit. It just keeps things clean. Yeah, no, that's a good tip. You need to let this, let this dry, which will take 
um, up to an hour. But me being me and being impatient, you can actually, don't tell anybody, but you can put a heat gun or a hair dryer or something on it. But you're supposed to allow it to dry. I'm just impatient. <laughs> I've got some here. I'm dying to have a go. Do I, do I just, um, just need to pierce the top when it? When yes, I... yeah. Do you want a stick, cocktail stick to pierce the top? Thank you. Pass that over there. Okay, you grab I shall find a stick. And have a go. All right, okay. So you just create your design. I'm just going to do a little bit more of this there. Um, and then once that's dried, you can then, then work into it. I see. How are you getting on? Oh, I'm still trying to get the lid off. <laughs> <laughs> right, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to wipe that little bit off so I don't end up with a line. And I've got one here that I've put on and I've allowed it to dry. So. That's How long does that take to dry, would you say? About an hour. Okay. It can take longer, it can take, depends on how warm your room is, etc. Um, and I'm going to come Oh, I'm having a go, Denise, I'm having a go. Oh, how are you getting on? Well, I tell you what. Yeah. Oh, it flows, doesn't it? Doesn't it just? I thought it was going to be, I don't know, I just thought, oh, I, I'd, I'd really need a super steady hand, but it, what do you think so far, folks? I mean, it's, what, I'm just doing my look? signature. Can we have a look? Hold on, let me do my E now. Okay. Don't be, you know. no, I'm going to start with this one. There we go. Fee. Yeah? Not bad. I've done a bit of scraping there, but I'm trying to just pull. Just pull. Yeah? yeah? What do you reckon? Yeah. Do I pass? You pass. Definitely ah! you pass. There's a lot in the tube, isn't there? Yeah, it goes an awfully long way. There we go. Oh, I'll tell you what, I like this a lot. I'm not, I'm not really creating any kind of... Um, anything to fill in like you have, but... That flows beautifully, that is nice and easy, yeah. I'm off to, off to get some light bulbs and some glasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what I thought about the bottle that I did. Um, I thought you could put uh, bottle lights in there. Ooh. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Yes, you did. You said that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Little, those are little lights that you can get. We've had those on the show as well. Fab. OK, what I'm doing here is I've, I've done my little fish and I'm putting a couple of prisms oh. in there. And again, I've just dropped that colour in and I'm going to use my cocktail stick just to push it up to my line. And it won't go over the line. If you've left a gap in your line, it sometimes eases through because it will find any gaps that you've, you've left. Mm -hmm. But um, see where it's dry, I've just dopped on it so you can just wipe it off. I have done this where I haven't let it dry because I've been too impatient. Okay. And you can get away with it as long as you don't make any mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> so just taking a little bit of time to push that around. Again, you can see how, you know, um, as long as you've got the ideas, it's extremely easy to work with. Yeah. Now, seeing as we haven't been here for a while, can I ask if anybody's out there who's got any pictures of stuff they've done with the Pebby yes. I'd love to see it. Maybe I love Rick seeing people's work. Yeah, Ricky, send us in some pictures of the, these light bulbs you're talking about that your daughter's done. We'd love to see them. Yeah, because it gives us further inspiration, isn't it? Obviously, we're trying to show your inspiration here on the show. Yeah. I mean, you've done one here. This was the using the resin, wasn't yes. it? Yes. And um, although it's not like your crystal resin is it which we put elements into no it's not like something you would use in in resin molds no that's, um, that was the this, difference this, wasn't it this is the glazing resin that goes on top but that one i did in layers um you and i painted fish in between the layers and you've added shells so that you can yep. put in your oh you can put in your in, mediums you know, things in there yeah definitely you know i think it's great with things like um some of the steampunk stuff Ooh, you could yes. set some of your steampunk stuff into yeah. the resin Gorgeous idea. Yes. Cogs or your tickets or, yeah. Brilliant, lovely. Just trying to show all your lo lovely samples on the show today. I'm trying to find some, so many colours, it's trying to decide which one to do next. So you can see, literally, ooh, 
Is that one of their moons? This one is a prism. A prism. Yeah. Oh, that looks like, is it chestnut you've got there? Yes. Yeah, this yeah, we've is got chestnut, chestnut on one. the show. It's such a beautiful colour. Again, I've dropped it in there, so I'm just going to... It's a very accessible, isn't it, in terms of we need to worry about our... Yeah artistry necessarily if or if we do like it that's what the um, the lovely CERN relief gives us we can be quite precise as well you can be precise but you can be very abstract with it and if you like abstract but you've never really had a go it, it's you know it makes it it does it for you and if you've got any questions for Denise, because she'll be with us at 11 o'clock again, because yes. obviously I know it's been ages since we saw um, Denise with the Pebio, and then please let us know, because I imagine, you know, plenty of questions out there, and although I tried to think of them, I don't always come up with the best ones. So if you have got some, some good questions and you, you want to or share your ideas about how you use it, we would love to uh, answer those and share them with everybody else as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So I'm just putting that. That's the yellow, the lemon... Um, vitriol. Yes. It looks very dark because it's on a black background it's black. and it's it's a transparent. You can just about see the colour of it against that white where yeah. I've gone into it a little bit. I'm going to pop some moons onto this one. But we could have primed that little bit of, you know, fin, couldn't we? And then we would have seen the yellow if we yes, wanted yeah. to paint it white underneath. Or like something. I say, I was just trying to um, use the black background to show the um, the white sun relief. Yeah, I love the idea of using it on the acetate as well. Maybe we, we'll have to find you a piece of acetate okay, later. Okay, let's see what we can find yeah. for, for the 11 o'clock show. Absolutely. Oh, so now you're mixing it in with... This is one of the moons. Oh, fantastic. And as you can see, tiny, tiny little drops. Look how quickly that's gone. Yeah. That looks so good. you go into a room, Denise, and then, you know, we don't see you till hours later when you've been having a play. Yep. Last scene, Absolutely. Thursday, 10 o'clock. Yep. Didn't come out till <laughs> Well, Saturday. to be fair, when, you know, I knew I was coming in here, it was like, oh, I get to play first <laughs> to get all my samples ready and to bring ideas in. And I, I do try really hard to bring in new ideas of, of ways people can use the, yeah. the, the product. So, um, so, I mean, this now... These two together are beginning to, yes. to crater. They're, they're going to create those, those cells. That's the cratering, that's the moon, this is the prism. You can really see it start to spread out. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Um, let's have... Now I know what I want to do here. I want to use the leaf prism on some of the seaweed coming up behind. I'm going to mix into that some of the lemon. Ooh. So this is the vitriol. Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's a prism. So is, or was it the moon? The moon. I put the, the vitriol moon. The on moon top gone... of the prism, but this yeah. one, just look at how that's, oh, that's, yeah. that's spread now. That's gorgeous. We've had a picture in. Oh, wonderful. Thank you it's very Sharon much. Hirsch. She's one of our, she's one of our guest presenters here. She, uh... Hello, Sharon. I know Sharon extremely yes, exactly. well. She was on yesterday. Yes, exactly. Look look at this one, Denise. The unicorn. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Sharon. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's lovely. Using the Pebio. Thank you, Sharon. She's a bright breezy, isn't she? She is bright. After being here all day I 